hello 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 welcome 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 come on in come on in today we're going to be talking about another exciting topic on business analysis and that is where do business analysts work yes that's a very important topic very exciting topic all the topics with me it's like super exciting i mean who doesn't love business analysis with carolise like who right who everybody loves it so we're gonna talk about that topic. Thank you guys for enabling me to do this. You know, I I love teaching, I love training, I love talking to people. And even though I can't see you, I can imagine your reaction when you <laughs> you see the antics that I carry on with. <laughs> we gotta make it fun somehow, right? So okay, I'm gonna be talking to you a little bit about the sponsors of this video, and then we'll come back to talk about this exciting topic, okay? See you in a few seconds. So I wanted to introduce you to the guide to the business analysis body of knowledge or the BABOC guide. Now this is a very useful tool. It's a very useful handbook to have. Everybody who is a business analyst should have actually read this. It has all your techniques that you need to know. And if you're doing exams, it's going to be great for you to pass those exams. So come here and check it out. It's available on Amazon, but I'm going to put a link in the description of this video. And if you buy it from that link, you'll actually be supporting me and supporting what I'm doing on YouTube. So click on the link below to buy this book and get this useful information to excel in your career. And we are back. So we're talking about where do business analysts work? And so I will just tell you off the bat that there are many industries that hire business analysts. You can really work anywhere. You can work at your skill set is very transferable. But I have found that there's a couple of industries that really hire a business analyst more often than not. And I'm going to tell you what those industries are right now. So the first industry that I found that really, really hire a lot of business analysts and there's always a lot of jobs in this area and that people that I meet, my contemporaries, are tending to work in this industry is tech. No surprise there, right? So tech hires a lot of business analysts every year, especially in startups for different technology companies and different um applications and stuff that people are building. So tech is eating up the lion's share of business analysts because they need us to come up with the right process, to come up with the right design, to have the right user experience or whatever they're coming up with. And business analysts thrive in that environment and are always getting jobs and always being hired and so on in technology, especially startups. The other industry that I find have a lot of business analysts and hire a lot of business analysts is fintech so it's kind of tech but it's not quite so fintech is financial technology so these are your credit unions your banks your insurance well insurance i'll put insurance separate i'll take that out for now but like your investment all of these things that have to do with financing and finan financial world and has an arm of technology to it i find that those uh that vertical that that industry does hire a lot of business analysts because you know with banks there's so much regulation you have to do certain processes there is so much potential for fraud and you want to make sure you cover all the bases and you could get sued and there's so much stuff that they need someone who's focused on one improving the user experience and making this thing easy to do and also covering all the regulations all the stuff that is also being impacted so financial tech eats up business analysts. Like there's always a job out there with some company in that in that vertical that's looking to hire business analysts. The other area I found that business analysts are also being hired is in healthcare. So healthcare business analysts are a little bit more, uh, I would say specialized. So, you know, if you have a slant towards healthcare already and you have the business analyst skills, you really can do well in this industry. Um, hospitals and, you know, big, pharma and all this stuff they have a lot of processes and they have a lot of regulations as well and they have a lot of things to follow and all that stuff so they really need business analysts to help with the processes and to improve and to adapt to change so i found that healthcare bas are also being hired and they tend to get paid a little bit higher i found because of the specialization and the skill set that they have to have in addition to what they do for business analysts but understanding the healthcare world as well they get highly compensated for that 
The other area where I see business analysts working a lot is in insurance. Now, sometimes people can group insurance with fintech, but I don't want to do that because it's really two different worlds, in my opinion. So the insurance world, because of all of the processes and all of the issues that can go wrong and the claim man, um, uh, management and all that stuff, there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on with insurance, and they tend to hire droves of business analysts. They hire like departments full. I've been to insurance companies that has a whole department, and everybody there's a business analyst, right? So I've found that they have been very, very uh, good at hiring business analysts, and so you know you can do well if you're looking to go into the the insurance field. So I found that insurance companies have hired a lot of business analysts. So that's another place that business analysts work a lot. So generally, business analysts can work anywhere, as I said in the beginning, and they really have transferable skills. So you don't have to be looking for industry to get a job. Basically, you are you, and you have your skill set, and then you can see which job matches it in whichever industry because you can apply yourself, right? But those are the industries I found that there is the most hiring of business analysts that I've seen in my time. And I'm not saying that this is an exhaustive list and there isn't anything outside of it, but this is what I've seen in my own experience, that these industries, FinTech, uh, startups and technology, uh, healthcare BAs and insurance, they hire a lot of business analysts. And so you're very much more likely to be successful getting a job if you're looking into those, uh, those industries. What I don't see happening is I don't see a lot of business analysts being hired in certain other industries like manufacturing, um, mining, maybe transportation or railway, those kind of things that are heavy, like maybe more legacy kind of things. I don't find that they hire a lot of business analysts because they tend to have, you know, an archaic way of doing things. <laughs> or they're super, super modern. Like the manufacturer might have these robotic arms doing stuff and they already have these things well mapped out. They don't need an analyst who's gonna handle too much change. The, the problem is if you have an industry that doesn't change a lot, they tend to also not have a lot of business analysts because they don't have to manage a change as often. So like Department of Transportation, um, like railroad, like, you know, heavy manufacturing arms. I just don't see as lot a lot of business analysts in those areas. And what I do see though is maybe industrial engineers in those areas. And they do a little bit of business analysis, but it's kind of different. So those manufacturing heavy jobs tend to go to industrial engineers who specialize in that and it's not really called business analysis. So that's just my observation. I want to share that with you. Well that's it for me on this topic. Uh, remember to go check out carolise.com if you need more help. I have some free courses on my website that you can just go to carolise.com, go to free courses, watch your videos, and you don't have to be jumping around in YouTube trying to figure out which video to watch next. It's already organized for you, so go do that. Also, subscribe, like the video, comment on the video. Check out the sponsors of the video. Okay, that's how you support me. I'm helping you, so help me back, okay? So that's, that's how we do. All right, guys, so it's great hanging out with you. I will see you guys next time in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.